Let's take a look at a quiz problem. While well, I realize I forgot to set my proverb. So this was from one of my recent games. I played a move. Uh, Geeko and other engines would recommend a different move. So let's see what I did and what I can do better. Last time, let's see. Last time I played either Pawn 5-6 or Knight 6-5. Knight 6-5 feels like something I would try. Pawn 5-6 doesn't seem like something that would occur to me, but it's actually pretty cool because these two pawns side by side fight effectively both against the bishop that wants to swarm all over the position and the silver that wants to occupy 5-5. Five five. So pawn uh, six five. I'm sorry, pawn five six here seems really effective, despite not immediately triggering any tactics. Contrarily, what I played in the game uh, leads to this sequence: takes, takes, and they get a free knight. And I real, I, uh, I had a rationalization. I reasoned. That, you know, this variation allows me to attack, and it's better to have some attack than to have no attack. But I could have been more patient about this, and I would still have a chance to attack once my opponent's attack slows down. I'm just not accustomed to slowing down the opponent's attack, but, you know, it could happen. Anyway, uh, that was the puzzle review. Let's play some games, some 10-minute games here on Shogi Wars. Um, here we go. Don't forget to fix the overlay. Good luck. So our opponent plays Primitive Central Rook. Interesting. I don't customarily play Static Rook, but this seems like a uh, valuable matchup for me to fight against what they're doing. Um, hmm. So pawn takes pawn, in this case, is a move slower um, than just exchanging a different way. Oh, but here they get to stop my rook from advancing. So perhaps the way I played it is tremendously risky, since my rook can't advance further. That's interesting. Um, hmm. Alright, so we'll fight this way instead. But yeah, I blocked my rook. This is super unwise for me to let that situation happen. But this rook is exposed. So this isn't a one-sided affair at all. Um, we were just learning um, this past week how there is a variety of different castles. And one of them is called Truck Castle, and I've never built it before. But it looked really awesome and strong, but also looked like it takes a lot of moves to build. Um, Alright, I'm just going to move my king out here in front of my amino. Um... This is the move the opponent's trying to provoke. They did provoke it. Now what? I mean, maybe they were trying to get the rook to move somewhere specific instead of the square. Um, but the general concept is provocation. And yeah, they're wanting to advance speedily on my position. Um... I don't understand what they're doing. 
Either that or I understand it better than them, but does that seem likely? So I've activated my bishop through this odd fashion. Yeah, I would have liked to bring all my generals together, not just the bishop, but... Um, what a sharp position. All right, let's do it. Maybe this is too provocative on my part? Let's check. I recognize that I just marooned my knight out here. Um, honestly, the knight was the least of my worries with everything else hanging. All right, let's save the knight, I guess. With this gold protecting the bishop's head, I can't exactly drop the pawn here. So I'm having to be pretty patient. Um, oh, I should have... If I dropped the pawn there, that would have actually been a good move. Taking Not the enough. square where the opponent wants to drop the pawn and using that square. Um, what's bad about this position is the location of my rook. Which I've done no favors for. Um, Alright. Bring it. Hmm. This knight can't go anywhere. My knight can't go anywhere either. This knight can't go anywhere either, either. So, nothing's going nowhere. Um, it's threatening to take the pawn and hit my bishop, so I am moving the bishop in advance of that attack. But otherwise, I'm just threatening to take some pieces next to their king. Uh, I don't want to exchange everything here. Wait, I could contain the silver, can't I? Oh, knight drop doesn't, because they can drop a knight also. Uh, it would be nice to contain this might not be feasible. Um, let's take here. So they can take my pawn, I can take this pawn. Let's do it. That's a triple attack. Um, Hmm. All right. Very well. If I take the silver, uh, if this rook is here, I'm actually prone to a fork. So they have defended this point indirectly. Um, that said, I'm actually well it. insulated against... Oh, uh, well, this gets messy. Um, hmm. Discretion is the better part of valor. Alright, 
We'll take a lance. We don't need the silver. It's not doing anything anyway. All right. For one turn, I managed to restrain myself and not drop this instantly. The second turn, I could not continue restraining myself. The lance is going there. This is going to work. We're going to make it work. Oh, what the definition of work is is still up for negotiation. Um, this silver drop is really heavy. I had three pieces attacking the square, so I had to take the bishop. Finally, they cannot block with the silver or other, like, yeah, so they're going to block with a pawn. Uh, having blocked with the pawn uh, makes it harder for them to block in the future. I defend my king. If they take my lance, I take back. I'm fine. If they take here again... Oh, okay, well, that's legal. Hmm. It's a disgusting move.
1分30秒 What? Oh. I was momentarily confused by the interface seeming to suggest my knight could move in an interesting way. Your turn. The days have gone where chess players would go and announce checkmate, but we're not playing chess. It's a bit disappointing. Oh, I see my blind spot now. Let's see how it is that I got into this situation. My mistake was I could block the bishop check with the pawn. Um, yep, my mistake. Yeah, so. Uh, there was a way to defend. Well played, thanks for the game. One down, two to go. Good luck. I didn't play this right. At least I don't think I did. Well, this is starting to look vaguely familiar. Why didn't I just run to 3-1? I mean, that's a good question. I misread what was going on. Um, but why did I misread it? Probably because I'm a chess player who tends to believe that, like, exchanging pieces kills off an attack. 
but in Shogi it actually does the opposite. I'll have to study this trap again, though. Like, I wrote an entire Lee Shogi study explaining this trap, and yet I did not play it correctly. Um, not that I'd ever expect my opponent to fall into a trap, but they did, so I should be poised to pounce on it and fully exploit it without relying on a yet another trap. That said, I wasn't even trying to set this one. They just set it up for me. Like, that's a pin. Uh, if I exchange rooks, that's a fork. Um, but also, in addition to threatening this exchange, I'm threatening the silver directly, so... I just collect a piece. Um... But yeah, why didn't I go there? I don't know. It'd be nice if I had yet another tap. Well, actually, maybe. If I move the horse up, they have this fork. I could take there. That's kind of cute. Um... I've got another bishop in hand. Maybe a rook drop is crushing. Oh, bishop drop would reinforce my threat against the king. That's not bad. Um, I could drop it here, or I could drop it there. Ah, so many options. I could also take the pawn and pin this rook. Uh, that would give them a bishop. Hmm. Nanafun. I have too many good options. Let's do this one, because this attacks their king. Oh, funnily, they could drop a bishop to break the pin. And we could exchange here, and then they could... Yeah, I see where this is going. That's amusing. All right, sure. Then you can save your bishop, um, and it only costs you a king. All right. Uh, at this point, I would move the king up. That would just be my move, but... Oh, so it is. Two games down, one to go. Let's keep going. What's our next proverb? Take heed of two skillful lines. There you go. Good luck. Fourth file rook, eh? They've won five games in a row. And their favorite opening is fourth file rook.
right, there's the move. The move we all love to hate. Should have moved the silver up earlier for obvious reasons. Oh well, I have failed to do so. Um, really? That's your move? Okay. That's an interesting move, buddy. Uh, what's the next move? The opponent has not completed this castle, but man, it's this is a cloudy day for sure. So ominous. Hmm. Nothing supporting the silver. All right, here we go. Strange. Nana Fun. Oh, I finally see what they're aiming to do with that. Yeah, I can't prevent this promotion indefinitely. So they get to move up the silver and abandon the bishop's head and all that stuff. Um, if I push, knight takes, knight takes. Bishop takes. Now I have to do this sack. It's the thematic thing to do in this opening. 
and this is no exception. Hmm. This is tricky. <laughs> this is such a mess. So if they advance the silver, uh, maybe I save the rook? Maybe it's worth saving? Maybe it's possible to save. But also maybe I don't care. I'm trying to lure the pieces away from my castle. So if it costs a rook to lure it away, fine. Whatever. It's just a rook. Uh, yeah, we have to take this. Gofun. That's a fork. They're trying to gain a tempo while saving the Druk, while saving the gold, while doing a dozen other things here. Um, there's only so many things you can do at the same time. Well, we'll see if this holds, or rather how long it holds, um, and whether it holds long enough or not. Uh -huh.
3分Um, 2分30秒 You know, perhaps this take heed of two skillful lines isn't just an opening thing. Perhaps it's an overarching philosophy. But no, they. If they sack the dragon here, I. Well, my king could run up, actually. Um. Hmm. I don't understand. Nifun. If I run up, it's mate in one, so let's prefer getting checkmated the other way.
Dropping the spawn was a terrible idea. Jubio. Thanks for the game. Jikan gire. All right, three games down. Zero to go. What have we learned from this? The same thing I've been saying the whole time still holds true. I gotta practice my check baits if I want to improve. Another way to put that is if I want to improve, I have to practice my check baits. So, either way, thanks for watching. Have a good day.